uh, somebody asked me if I would learn a Big Sky Oda here on YouTube. And really the wonderful thing about YouTube is you move around and you see how different people do things. Uh, my friend Jeff Osborne had sort of half of this tuning going and I, I went back to the full, uh, this is the tuning you use for, um, oh, what's it called? Um, Rambling Hobo, which is a double C tuning, but the two G's are brought down to F. And what I've done here is, of course, the second fret, that same tuning instead of being in an F is in G. So it's now the A's are brought down to a G and it makes a, a G chord. And the reason I went for this is because I was listening to Ali Bain and uh, Jay Unger do it, and they have that wonderful... And it just, it just is right with this tuning. Very cool. And I go up a little higher than they do in the melody because it sounds good with the fiddles. Isn't it funny you get to play along with people like Ali Bain without knowing them? There's a dominant. Relative minor. Subdominant. Very simple. It's wonderful how it kind of plays itself. So I guess that's enough about this. The banjo again is one of Kevin Enoch's uh, Dobson models, which I put uh, Nalgut strings on and I find that it really pops out the tune in a way that I've never really gotten before in any other way. I'm gonna have to try my Mike Ramsey instrument with these nylon strings and a higher bridge just to see what it does. I'm, I'm really in love with the style of how this sounds. Okay, thanks very much, everybody. Okay, so I've just done this big Scioda in G, and I thought for the banjo players it would be fun to add a little section uh, doing it down the F, so if people didn't want to wear the capo. And it just, this banjo sounds so much better open. Thank you.